When you go to export a file, you have lots of options over that file. Some file types actually support techniques to shrink down the total file size. What we're talking about here is what affects the actual file size on disk, not the dimensions that you learned about earlier. Now, dimensions, of course, will affect file size. Cut a file size in half in dimensions, it's likely going to be a quarter of the file size because it's half the width and half the height. But there are things you could do with some file formats to shrink the file down even more, particularly if you're going to be sending this file electronically, like with a file transfer service or with email. So let's go to export a file here. I've got this image selected and I'll choose File Export. Now, depending upon the type of format you choose, you'll see options. Let's go with JPEG here for a moment. Now you see the ability to adjust the quality. One might think that you need to do maximum quality, but JPEG by its very nature is designed to be visually lossless if you don't get too aggressive. You can easily go to 60 or 70% and see a dramatically smaller file. Let me demonstrate. We'll start here by setting this to 65%. I'll click export and save it. That one was 778 kilobytes. Now let's export it again, this time at 100%. That one is 3.2 megabytes. Now the image looks great, but there's no substantial change between these two. Here's the 100 quality JPEG and the 65 quality JPEG. Visually, it's almost impossible to tell the difference, and the file size is virtually four times smaller. Typically with JPEG, you could always invoke options like this. But what happens if you're going to print? Well, the TIFF format also supports some compression. Let's go back into Lightroom and choose Export. Now I'll set the file format to TIFF. You'll notice that it supports compression, zip compression. This is going to get the file size down a bit. If we choose an export with zip compression, you'll see slightly smaller file size. It's not quite as dramatic as JPEG, but it's definitely smaller than a Photoshop document or a TIFF file. This will allow you to get the file substantially smaller. Do keep in mind though that when you rasterize these files, they get bigger. The raw files will often be smaller than the TIFFs or the Photoshop documents. So depending upon who you're collaborating with, you might do better off sending them a DNG file with all the settings embedded. But in any case, taking advantage of compression is often an easy way to save on disk space and make the files a bit easier to transfer if you're using networks or internet connections and need to collaborate with other people.